He's been called a national dance treasure. Korean-American choreographer Dana Daesun Burgess has led his Washington, D.C.-based dance troupe in performances on stages all around the world. His latest work was inspired by photographs of the American Civil War. In this week's Full Frame Close-Up, we talk with this American cultural ambassador who strives to use dance as a universal language around the globe. side, fondue, to the back, around, shift. Well, I believe that around. dance is a universal language. Grand plié, relevé. Before um, all of humanity had different languages, we were all dancing. Um, that's a universal. And down, up, up, shift, up, turn, one. My name is Dana Tassoon Burgess, and I'm a choreographer. I grew up in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and back then that was a predominantly Latino community uh, with some Native Americans. On my mother's side, uh, my family is part of the first Koreans to reach America. So they came to America in 1903, and they were plantation workers on the Del Monte plantations in Hawaii. So I'm fourth generation Korean American. On my father's side, he was English, Scotch, Irish, German. And then he met my mom in the 50s, and they, they are both visual artists. So I grew up in a home that was constantly filled with the creative process. You know, as a child, I would sit and watch them paint or, or weave something or create a collage or, you know, make a sculpture. And I just love that process, and I think that's why I'm so drawn to collaborations with museums and with visual art. My father, he wasn't Asian, but he spoke Mandarin fluently. And so I grew up in a much more Asian household than I did a stereotypically American household because of that. Asian culture definitely influences me as a choreographer. I mean, it's my heritage. So that means that the way I grew up, it has a lens, right, through which I view the world, through which my ancestors viewed the world. I didn't receive that gift of, of visual art, you know, that sort of eye-hand coordination, but I really use it in the choreographic process because I think of the stage or the proscenium as a canvas, and I sort of move the dancers around the canvas like brush strokes. Shift. Up and over, shift. Even as a child, I think my calling was to be a choreographer. I just always loved making dances. The, the earliest memories I have are of, of making little performances and wearing costumes, and you know, somehow I knew that's where I was gonna end up. I start small. I start with um, research of the subject. You know, we just started putting things on just mm -hmm. similar shapes, just to, and mm -hmm. then there's things underneath. I like that. That aren't, I like you know, that, so they're yeah. not so. I just have a few, like, quick notes before we run it again. And then I, um, I think about um, that, go into the studio, here, work with the dancers with dance um, phrases and, and improvisation, down, letting them know what the subject matter is going to be. Back. I think it's like, it's like a vertical turn, but the focus is going up, but not up. <laughs> and then yeah. take a phrase. It's almost like writing, like a phrase is like a sentence. <laughs> 
and then you expand that into a chapter, and then you make the novel. My name is Sarah Halzak, and I'm a dancer with Dana Tysoon Burgess Dance Company. Dana cares about never breaking the spell within his dance. Um, once you enter that world, he wants you to stay in it the whole time, even as you move from scene to scene, from passage to passage. And I feel like that the extent of that care he puts on transitions is, is really unique and something that you don't always get with other choreographers. Dance is definitely a bridge between cultures. While doing a performance at the Kennedy Center, the State Department came backstage and then asked me if I'd become a cultural envoy for them. For me, I take very seriously being a cultural envoy for the U.S. State Department. The company has traveled um, all over the world from Asia to the Middle East to Africa to South America and Central America, and we continue to tour all over the place. My newest work is entitled The Foster Suite, The Remains of Loss and Longing. And the inspiration for it is actually an exhibit which is now on display at the National Portrait Gallery um, by the great American photographer Alexander Gardner. Photographs are these like little captured moments in time, right? And they capture posture, and they capture facial expression, and they capture um, intensity of, of the way the eyes look in a photo forever. So that's what I want the dancers to do. There are moments where they suddenly just freeze on stage, almost like a photo and so it's reminiscent of the exhibition itself. What happens is that the dancers portray um, Civil War nurses and then some of the dancers portray soldiers. Really having a dancer who understands the overall feel of what I'm trying to portray through choreography is extremely important. My name is Filippo Yarsun, and I'm a dancer for Dana's Tyson Burgess Company. Sometimes when we do this dance, I feel like we are actually expressing the emotions from these people portrayed in these pictures. Even though the dance itself is ephemeral, it lasts for just a moment, the choreography itself reflects what was historically going on at that moment in time. What a special journey I've had to be able to make my art and uh, to continue to make larger and larger pieces. I'll always be thankful. Great that he's sharing his talents that way. Well, that's it for this week. Join the conversation with us on social media. We are CCTV America on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And you can also watch Full Frame on our mobile app, available worldwide on any smartphone for free. Search CCTV America in your app store to download today. You can get the latest news headlines and connect to us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Weibo. All of our interviews can still also be found at cctv-america.com. And let us know what you'd like us to take full frame next. Simply email us at fullframe at cctv-america.com. Until then, I'm May Lee in Los Angeles. We'll see you next time.